How's it going guys? So basically, I wanted to put a bit of a tutorial together on how to make Instagram story uh, GIFs for yourself. Someone chucked a comment on uh, one of my videos basically asking, how do you do it if you want to do it with a uh, person or a real video or you know all sorts of different options and this way will work for anybody. So all you need really is a basic kind of knowledge of how to use After Effects or really you just have to have the program, I'll show you how to use it here, uh, and Photoshop. And if, you can, if you've got those two things, you'll be fine, you'll be able to make them. So I'll show you straight away, if you bring up After Effects here, I've just started a composition uh, and so I'll just show you the settings. All I've done is I've made the duration of the composition one second because if you think about what a GIF is, we're going to create the GIF in After Effects and then we'll be going to put it over to Photoshop. But if you think about how GIFs work, really a second is actually a long time for a GIF. Usually it's just like a tiny little movement. Um, sometimes they might even be for a tenth of a second. But for this we're going to make it one second, uh, 1080 by 1080, so it's a square. Again, it doesn't have to be, but around 1080 um, regular resolution is probably best. And uh, I'm just going to go the regular frame rate of 24 and background colors black doesn't really matter too much. So, okay. What I'm going to do is I've, I've basically downloaded this video, which I'll show you. It's uh, Terry Crews and it's like a, um, it's a part of his kind of like Old Spice ads. Yep, so here's our one second clip and because it's After Effects, it'll just loop through. Okay, you ready? So, there he is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply an effect which is on the side here in the effects and presets panel. So if you just type in key and just search for that, you've got a couple, you've got lots of options here. The one that we want, I'll drag it out a bit so you can see. The one that we want is this one here. It's actually got three different options. It's actually got three effects built into one. And so all we're going to do is just grab that and just drag it onto the clip. You can also drag it down here. And now this here is our effects where we're going to be able to get rid of that green screen, okay? First one and the most important one is to pick your screen color on the side here. So you've got the little eyedropper tool. If you just click on the green like that, bang, it will get rid of all the green screen. Now in this case, the green screen was really good because it was one solid color. So we don't need to mess around with it too much here. But if your green screen isn't quite as good the way that you've done it, then you've got a heap of kind of options on the side here where you can mess around with it a little bit. Um, pick a couple of different colors, that kind of thing. Uh, so that way you'll be able to get a really nice, clean, clear background. So these squares here represent having a clear background. So let's look at our GIF now. And I should say, I just called it a GIF, but at this point in time, it's a video still. That's, that's good, I'm happy with that. We're gonna make that our GIF. Um, so what I'm gonna do, that's finished. And now in the same way that we've done that, we could do anything you can do on After Effects. If you want to do like a logo animation where a logo kind of spins around or changes color or warps in any way, uh, anything you can do on After Effects, you can make into a GIF using this same method. So all I'm going to do is just go uh, export it, add it to the render queue. Um, now this is really important, the way that you export it is that you click on this little bit here where it says lossless and then you've got this menu pops up. Now really, really important that you see this RGB here you change it to RGB plus alpha, and what that allows you to do, it actually allows the clear background to be able to be preserved in the video. Now this is something that a lot of kind of video editing software and things don't let you do, um, but on After Effects you can. So I'm just gonna put it here in this Jack Bing folder, and I'm gonna call it Terry GIF, save, and then render it out, hear the noise, Oh, you won't hear the noise, but I heard the noise. So now that that is done, so now we've created this as a video. All right, switch over to Photoshop, guys. This is the this is the thumbnail that we use for the live stream. And what we're going to do is we're going to open that video up. Did you know you can open up videos on Photoshop? Pretty weird, but you can. All right, guys. So Terry's in here. We've got him in Photoshop. We just opened up the file. Now I'll just let you know I actually made a mistake when I was back here in After Effects. I changed it to a quick time setting, which exported it as a MOV. You actually can't change it to that. You need to export it as AVI. So when you go into that lossless settings and you change to RGB plus alpha, you have to still leave it as an AVI. So don't change it to quick time in that menu, okay? Now, we're back over here on Photoshop. We've imported this uh, and basically you've got a video group. There's all the frames there in that video. Now what I'm going to do just for a bit of fun, now that we've got it in Photoshop, is I'm going to add a couple of extra layers of my own. I just want to basically um, add a bit of text because we're here in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is just click on the text. Alright, so I've added this text, it says subscribe to, I'm going to put a Jack Bing on there as well. Alright, now you see down here, because I've added some random objects, just to show how it works, 
Um, I've basically made it so you can subscribe to Jack Bing, just literally a bit of fun. Um, and then you've got these layers down here. Now, what you can do is you can actually manipulate these layers to come on at different times. So you've got these frames here. As he's talking, I can make it actually kind of, I can bring the Jack Bing just by dragging it back to here. All right, so here he is. He's talking, when it hits there, then Jack Bing comes up and then he'll keep doing his little thing. And that's our one second GIF that I've made there. Um, so yeah, you can manipulate any of this kind of stuff however you want. You can drag it to different sections. I can even make it kind of start like that. I want it to end on one second still. Yeah, that's pretty much what the GIF will be. All right, this is how you export a GIF out of Photoshop. You might've seen this before in one of my other videos, but basically you go to file and you go to export and you don't click on any of these other ones that you normally would use, but you go save for web. So click on save for web and you've got a couple of options here. You need to make sure, it's already there for me, but you basically need to make sure it already says GIF here. Um, you could get JPEG or PNG, it needs to be a GIF. And the other really important thing is that you change this looping down here to loop forever. If you do it to loop once, anytime anyone ever sees your GIF, it's just gonna go through once and then just stop. And no one wants that at all. Make sure you save it, and I'm gonna put it in my Jack Bing folder again. Bang. Uh, and that's done. This is all sorts of other stuff in the stream, but here we've got this Terry subscribe. If I click on it, there it is. Now, I may as well show you guys because, um, you know, you might want to know. I'm going to put it, I'll put it right up into Giphy for you so you can see how it actually works, how the process works. All right, so this is my Giphy account here, and basically, you have to get yourself approved as a Giphy uh, partner creator to be able to put your things on Instagram. I've got another video that shows you how to do that that you can see. Um, I'll put it up the top there. Um, but basically, all you want to do is go upload, and then you'll get this upload screen here. We'll just drag in the Terry subscribe GIF. Bang, there it is. And that's what the GIF's gonna look like. You gotta make sure your rating's G. I'm gonna enter the tags. I'm gonna say Jack Bing, uh, and just do it as one word, just in case. And I'm gonna say Terry Cruz subscribe, YouTube, whatever. Um, these are the tags that people can use when they search on Instagram. This is how they're gonna find your uh, find the GIF. So by the time this video comes out, you guys will be able to search this. It usually takes about 24 hours for them to approve it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna click upload to Giphy. It takes very little time to upload. So yeah, there it is in my account. And if you jump on Instagram right now, search for Jack Bing, subscribe, or Terry Cruz, or something like that, you will be able to find it. It'll be in the store there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. As Terry's saying, uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm gonna keep bringing up these tutorials at least a couple of times a week. I uh, love teaching you guys new things. If you have any other ideas, feel free to put them down there in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks heaps, guys. Appreciate it.